Hi, Dick Rochford. Aboard Piper M350. Number November 350, Juliet, Juliet. And we're, as you can tell, feet wet, as the military says, we're over water. Quite a bit of water. On our way to uh, Montego Bay, Jamaica, from now from uh, Panama. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit about point of no return, fuel, and uh, long range flying, which this clearly is. And uh, Really, the, the trick is is to know, based on winds aloft and uh, waypoints, where your point of no return is. That is, if something were to go wrong right now, would we turn around or would we go straight ahead? And that calculation is based upon ground speed, mostly. Um, and the knowledge of the waypoints and where the halfway point is physically in terms of miles. But if we have significant headwind, which we don't today, or even worse yet, a tailwind, say, leaving Miami and a headwind approaching Montego Bay, then we get into what I call a base runners situation. Oh. I don't know if kids today play base runners, but we used to play base runners. You only needed three people, and you could play some baseball and uh, throw the ball back and forth and run a little bit. It was a lot of fun. We didn't wear helmets. We probably should have. But the helmet, in this case, is the knowledge of where you are and exactly where the point of no return is on training missions in the military for uh, airborne operations. We would call it the FIBA, the forward edge of the battle line, or the battle area. Whereas uh, after you go across that, you're, you're, you're going. You're not turning around. And that for us today would be Colby, C-O-L-B-Y. We've been promised an opportunity to talk to Control again and perhaps get radar contact back at Colby. And that's okay. We, uh, the engine's running stably, and uh, it's very stable, and we're uh, making our way to this halfway point. But if anything were to happen between now and then, we would turn towards Columbia. Uh, be about a 45 degree turn to the left. Correction, uh, about a 270 turn to the left. And uh, that would be the closest runway over there. It's not showing up on here, on this range. Having said that, if we get to Colby and uh, need to continue, uh, we would uh, do so, maintain best forward glide and uh, stay clean and use whatever power the engine will produce, oil or not, to get as far down the road as we could get. Good news is, coming out of Panama, there are a lot of ships north and south of the canal that we can't really see at this altitude, but they become more obvious when we get lower if we had to ditch in this um, in this area. Most likely would not be a problem getting a pickup. Don't like to think about that, but there you have it. Over water, there aren't too many options, and since hope is not an option, we have to plan a little more carefully. Uh, for the long range. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off it.